Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine and this is Jazzy Does It. And today we're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. Because every time I go to Home Goods, at home, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Hobby Lobby, they have this mirror there that I love. It's got the diamonds all around it. I'm sure everyone has seen it. And it would look beautiful in my beauty corner. So what did I decide to do? We're gonna DIY it. We're gonna make our own because at these wonderful stores, it's $200, $200. I don't wanna spend $200. You don't wanna spend $200. So today we're gonna spend $40, $40, $200. $40, $200, $40. I'll take $40 for the one, Alex, thank you. So, we're gonna get all of our materials together. I got most of my materials on Amazon. That's where I found them all the most inexpensive. And I'll put all the links below on what, what exactly that I bought. So, let's do it, let's get started. Okay friends, let's talk about the things that you're gonna need for this project. Of course, you're gonna need a mirror. You can pick any mirror that works for you. I picked this one from Walmart because I love the iridescence in it and I thought that it would look perfect with the project and that glamorous kind of feel that we're going for. I also picked up these acrylic gemstones from Amazon. They came with 480 in a pack. I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> I couldn't pass up that deal. I also got these adhesive gemstones right here from Walmart. I picked these because of their iridescence too would match the mirror perfectly. And I got four packs of those. I got this diamond ribbon, some glue sticks, some E6000 adhesive. Of course you're gonna need a glue gun. And I got some tape. I bought six foam poster boards. I spray painted two of them silver because that's what I wanted to be on my top layer of my mirror and you'll see what I'm talking about. I almost forgot to mention that you're going to need an exacto knife to cut through the poster boards and you're also going to need a straight edge. I got this yardstick from Home Depot. I've had it for a while now. You can go pick it up from Lowe's or Home Depot. Usually they're about 50 cents and sometimes they're even giving them away. So don't forget to get your X-Acto knife or box cutter will probably work too and a yardstick. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put your two boards together and you're just gonna tape them the long ways together. That's pretty self-explanatory so that's what I'm doing right here is just taping my two boards together. Okay, so now at this point, both of our poster boards are taped together. So now we're gonna take some E6000 glue and we're gonna spread it all over this single poster board. You wanna make sure you get it all over that board because ultimately this is the board that your mirror is going to be stuck to. So you wanna make sure you have a really strong, bo strong bond <laughs> with the other boards. I wanted to make sure that my boards were securely stuck together so I decided to go ahead and add some hot glue and put that on the board too all over it just to be extra safe. You can never be too safe. Now just flip your board over and line it up so that it, it's evenly matched with your other two poster boards. And you're just gonna wanna apply some pressure to make sure this nice and secure. Here we are repeating those same steps that we did for the previous board. And we're just putting glue all over it again 
more hot glue and you're gonna do the same thing and apply pressure. At this point right here, the silver poster boards that I have are not glued down. I just put the mirror on top to measure exactly where I need to cut. So pretty much all I did was measure the lengthwise and the widthwise of the mirror and the lengthwise and the widthwise of the poster board and divided it in half pretty much so that I knew exactly where the center was and knew exactly where I needed to cut. So that's what I'm doing right here is just measuring and getting it perfectly centered. Now that it's perfectly centered, all I'm doing is taking my pen and I'm just tracing the outline of the mirror. So that way I have perfect guidelines for where I need to cut my boards. drawn and I can move my mirror so that way I can see exactly where I need to cut so here you are you can see the lines that I drew here 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 and at the top point you're going to put your yardstick or straight edge whatever it is that you have and line it up with that line that you made and use that exacto knife box cutter or any kind of sharp object that you have and cut along that line the exacto knife is actually really 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 sharp and it worked perfectly except for the fact that it started to cut my yardstick so Eventually, I just moved the yardstick and I just cut straight down the line. Yeah, so this is the part where I actually just said screw it and didn't use the yardstick or straight edge anymore and just freehanded it and it came out pretty good. I obviously can draw a straight line. coming apart so I'm just gonna wrap the tape around those four boards now you're gonna grab those two pieces that you cut and we're going to line them up make sure that they align perfectly and also that our mirror fits perfectly in that space you want to make sure that it's kind of like a frame around your mirror it's just going to sit right in it and it does it fits great <laughs> Now 
Now we're gonna remove those cutouts and we're gonna glue them down on all sides. You're gonna use that E6000 adhesive glue first, followed by some hot glue to make sure that it's super secure. You know, I'm all about securing this frame. Okay friends, now the fun starts. We're gonna use that diamond ribbon and we're just going to wrap our mirror frame with this all over it. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. I, myself, I wrapped the entire frame with this ribbon and I secured it with some hot glue. I just put it around the edges and a little bit in the middle. Okay, so here's a better angle so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. All I'm doing is just adding more hot glue down and securing our diamond ribbon to that. And once you get to the edge, I just wrap it around the back and you can secure that piece with more hot glue. So you're just gonna do this same process for the rest of our frame if you would like to put the diamond ribbon all the way around it. Here's what our mirror looks like after you put the diamond ribbon all the way around it. I think it looks pretty good. I think it would look pretty good with it just being like this. But no, we have to be overachievers and individually put these little rhinestone acrylic beads all over it. So let's get started on that. Woohoo! <laughs> we finally made it to the fun part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pattern. We're putting down one of those acrylic gems with one of those adhesive gemstones. Yes, they're called adhesive gemstones, but they do not stick to our ribbon. So we do have to hot glue those down too. But don't worry, I'm here for your trial and error. This process right here of what I'm doing is not how I did the whole entire mirror. If I would have did it like this, this would have took an entire week to do. But thankfully, I'm here to make all the mistakes for you and show you exactly how you should do this. Here was my first attempt at trying to make this go faster. It was okay, but it does get better. I promise you, it does get better. The way that I space these out though is each of the little rhinestones of the ribbon is actually a row. So I spaced them out. Every three rows I'd put a flat adhesive gemstone down. And then I put the acrylic gemstone in between. Two thousand years later. <laughs> okay, so not exactly two thousand years later. But now that I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, I can really tell you how to do this faster than how I have previously done it. If you place each dot of glue down, because you don't want it to be the hottest when you're applying each gemstone, you want it to be a little bit tacky. So place 10 dots down of hot glue, then kind of blow on it a little bit, and then you can start placing your gemstones down. It goes so much faster, as you can see. And you're gonna repeat this process all the way around your mirror for as many rows as you'd like. I did about four rows on each side, 
and seven rows on the top and six rows on the bottom. I pretty much just used all the gemstones that I had. I didn't want to waste them. I paid for them, so I said I was going to use them. And I actually liked the way it came out at the end. Here's another example of how I placed each gemstone. Again, you're just going to put a dot of glue under each alternating gemstone. And then you're going to kind of let it dry for a few seconds so that, again, it's not the hottest when it first comes out because it moves around too much. You want it to be tacky. And then you're just gonna place your gemstones on top of those glue spots. Okay, friends, we're in the home stretch. Finishing up this last row. And then you'll be able to enjoy your new beauty bling mirror. And here it is. Don't you just love the way it looks? All that hard work finally paid off. You did an amazing job, guys. Great job. <laughs>